Now vote 2021. We're taking a closer look at the election results for the late Tommy Hazuri's city council seat. There will be a runoff between Republican Nick Howland and Democrat Tracy Paulson. The results are showing a changing trend with Jacksonville voters. News for Jackson reporter Jim Pickett talked with our political analyst, the candidates, and others about what we're learning and what we can expect to see in this runoff. The voters didn't show up in force. There was only a little more than 12% turnout during the special election. But that small number indicates what we could expect to see in Jacksonville in future elections. In fact, when all of the votes were counted, look at this, 36,933 Democrats voted and 36,861 Republicans voted. That's only a 68-vote difference between the parties. Democrats showing up strong in early voting and Republicans very strong on Election Day. News for Jack's political analyst Rick Mullaney of JU's Public Policy Institute says that is current with the national and state trends, but it's also showing us something different in Jacksonville. The low turnout, just over 12 percent. Hard to try to extrapolate too much from that low a turnout, but in the past, low turnout has favored the Republicans in local elections. This time, not so much. So it sets up a very interesting race for February. Meaning the upcoming race between Republican Nick Howland and Democrat Tracy Polson is going to come down to one thing, voter turnout. Who actually gets the vote out? And while this is only one city council seat, and a lot of people say, hey, that's not a big deal, it could actually change the direction of city council in the way that it's going to go in the future. The closeness of this race is consistent with Duval County going purple and trending blue. You saw that happen in 2018 in statewide races for governor in the U.S. Senate. You clearly saw it in 2020, which Joe Biden, for the first time since 1976, a Democrat, got more votes here on the presidency, and now you're seeing it in this local election. People like Ilsa Jones Jefferson, who says she will vote in this runoff, are noticing that trend as well. Whether black or white, you know, we'll get out and we'll vote, and uh, the outcome will be what the people what the people want. And the result could signal what we could see happen in Jacksonville during the governor's election next year and the city elections in 2023. Jim Pigott, Channel 4, The Local Station.